I like to sing, dance, pretend, and I like to have fun, 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 Okay, so uh, while watching the beginning of that show, I'd like to take a little bit of issue with it. That kid says he'd like to have fun 28 times. I don't think that quite represents what we're doing here. I think we're looking for at least <laughs> like, 40 yeah, fun time shows. 35 to 40. I was yeah, thinking. 40. That's Absolutely. right, man. So um, I'm going to have to go back and re-edit that and uh, make it a more accurate representation of what you have ahead of you this week on another exciting episode of Grand Theft Audio. I'm Jake Belcher. I'm Brant Thoman. And uh, with us in studio today, returning uh, to the show, but first time on this station... Uh, at zhollywood.tv, uh, Mr. Scott Gearhart. Scott, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Uh, Excellent. Glad to be here. Glad to have you back. Um, I uh, started talking to you again this week uh, because of uh, a video game that has recently entered my life. Yeah, something under... under so, oh, Undertow? O over? Over uh, oh, Overwatch. Overwatch, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Overwatch. Oh, my God, it's incredible, man. It's, the game's amazing. I played a little bit during beta. I haven't since it's come out, mm -hmm. but... Because I kind of actually suck at games like that, but it's I'm, I'm, it's I'm beautiful. Okay. It's great. Yeah, it's it's one of the most fun gaming experiences I've ever had. I'm actually a little bit surprised that I got it together to get here for the show. <laughs> Earlier today, I was literally thinking like, um, "Hey, just blow off today's episode because this game's awesome. No one will know." Like, um, but then I'm like, Arr. "Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's been holding down the number one spot on Twitch that I've seen like pretty much since it's come out. I mean, Shh. it's." Now, uh, this is a rarity, because usually it's one of uh, two other games. Yeah, League of Legends or uh, uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive usually, or it's usually League, but they'll sometimes go back and forth. So, um, I do you think this is being helped now, because like the PlayStation Network makes it easier to also have people twitch this, these games out, because it's built into the system so easily? It doesn't hurt, that's yeah. for sure. I, I think that's probably part of the reason that they were able to get up there. But also, it's just like a, a super popular show. Yeah, okay, so this is on the screen right now. All these different characters come together in battle in like uh, very much like Halo. And because you, if you put together like a combination of Warsong Gulch from, mm -hmm. um, from um, World, of Warcraft. World of Warcraft, the idea of like instancing and grouping up and going yep. into battle together yep. and um it, it's, it's a it's a fascinating social I idea now already where people are like well i'm a healing person and that's like mm -hmm. we're two days into it and people have already decided this is what i this am and what i'm what i'm gonna be and although didn't we uh, i i don't know when i created my character for world of warcraft all those years ago yeah. that was i kind of felt that that way about this character sure right. but there's more personalization there because like you got to make your character into something and this like these characters Characters are much blander. I mean, there's a, a bigger variety of them because, like in Warcraft, like there's only five races. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about race though. I'm talking about the subsets. Sure, but like, you, you, know, you, like don't, you don't build your character the same way in this. No, I understand. Game. I understand that. But what I'm saying is, like, you've got those people who are, you know, the the class of hunter or the class of mage. Those are yeah. their specifics. Sure. Where, where this is sure. kind of the same thing. It's it, to me, it's kind of a cross between that and a, a little bit of like Final Fantasy, at least in the the artwork of the characters. That, that's a beautiful picture. I I'm going to look it up sure. some more uh, when it, I get it's home. It's just a really fun game, and there uh, we go. these that's characters awesome. are all distinctly you know, different. And yeah. Like, I, I really have enjoyed it so far. So yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, when I've gotten to play it, I like it. I, It's only a matter of time until I go out and get it, but I just hadn't had a chance yet. Have, have you played a game with all of the characters? I mean, each individual have, I so far? I haven't yet. Okay. I okay. haven't yet. You, you've kind of gotten more comfortable with one. See, I understand. It's, it's only You're day getting... two of it. To like, yeah, granted, know. granted, but I know how your video gaming goes. <laughs> <laughs> sure, but the idea is just like, but each character has like different ways of doing their moves. No, I understand. You got to get comfortable I don't with do one. one game with each one of them. I want to play a couple at least. You know? Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, get a, some form of a feel for the character. Sure. I'm going to go home and play many more hours tonight. Maybe by the end of the day, I'll make that my goal. <laughs> you know? yeah. But uh, right now, uh, I've basically been, been concentrating on one character. Okay. Yeah. 
So, so do they do they keep track of the stats like in regards to Everything, who you, man. So who you use the most is, sure. is easily up there. It'll, it'll tell you how many times you've killed with each type of move. It'll right. tell you. Um, you can also like post highlights of your games to like your social media and to Twitch and to. It'll take keep track of like oh you here you killed five guys in like ten seconds here and we have video of that so you can send that out. It it, it does it does kind of all the work of trying to be a professional video game player out of your hands it all just kind of does it for you nice yeah you know? that's interesting so it's a, it is an interesting game indeed yeah it certainly sounds like it i look forward to playing sure it's so anyway i knew you're into gaming so i wanted a little to, bit you know, tiny tiny bit yeah you, you are the host of the gamers dome which is uh well lately we're mostly a um mostly a twitch channel mm-hmm. and we're doing our one year challenge right now which means i'm streaming every single day and today was day 238. Have you, have you missed no days in that? I have missed no days. That's good. It was, when I was in Mexico for like three days, mm-hmm. it got real sketch there for a little bit. But you still found a way to uh, persevere and it, do so, it? Something. They might have been short and they might sure. have been terrible quality. But sure. but you did it. Yep. Now, how, how long are these little videos that you do? Uh, well, the streams typically... I, I like to make them on the absolute minimum, 30 okay. minutes. Like, I feel like I'm okay. cheating if there's anything less than that. But, like, yesterday I went uh, just over 10 hours. So that was a long time, man. Yeah. Did okay, you, play, you play one game, like, the, that entire time? Um, it was mostly Magic the Gathering. Mm-hmm. It was uh, – they're doing these flashback drafts right now, and it was a particular block that was just a lot of just So this fun. is a – a video version of Magic the Gathering? Does the version with the cards still exist? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. There, yeah. I mean, there's full on Pro Tour and everything. But, yeah, this is... Is there a, a Twitch version of that that's always going on where someone can always watch, like, live oh, yeah. Magic? Yeah, well, it's it's Magic Online. It's the digital form of it. Though, occasionally, some people will actually stream, like, things that happen in stores mm-hmm. or when there's, like, Pro Tours or Grand Prix on, they'll put those up on Twitch. But, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing it's, to it's, me. It's a brilliant uh, idea, man. I mean, honestly, think about it. You just these gaming places. You just put a camera that's above everything, or a couple of cameras, so you can zoom in on what they're doing with their hands and go, check out what this guy just did. I mean, it, it wouldn't be streaming. Idea. It wouldn't be streaming. I think it's the type of thing that you could film something and then be able to put that that up. Oh no, they do it lo- for like live pro tours and grand prix. They do it live. No, that that stuff, I I, I totally get that. But oh. I'm talking about like in a game store. We got four kids that are just playing, but ah. one kid gets this epic move with the cards. And it's just like it's the type of thing like, hey, I want to show off what I was able to do in the the card version, not the digital version. So. Yeah, I mean, for smaller <laughs> stuff, I could see that for sure. No, oh, man, I think it's lunacy. All these people paying like money to uh, watch other people do things like that. Well, you don't have to pay money. You should. We like we we liked it gr- hasn't we like the, gratuities. Sure, it hasn't gotten to the point yet where you're making people pay. No, but there, but there will be that point someday where there will be the event where you know you you got you got to pay to to watch it happen. I mean, if you hit partner, you can be a subscriber. It's like five bucks, and you get a few perks. That is that is like paying, you know. I mean, it's it's supporting the streamer. It's helping. Sure, sure. It's helping keep them going because uh, the way I've always seen it is. You go to a restaurant and you have a, a server and they provide you a service or your taxi cab driver, they provide you a service and you're done. You give them a gratuity because you gave them service. See, okay, I, I understand the need for those services. I want to eat. I want to go someplace. There's a, just a generation of people, though, now, kids, like who don't even want to play these games. They just want to watch other people do good at them. They yep. want to watch the older kids play them because they're we'll, better at it. It's, it, it's I mean, just easier to like. Um, no, no, they like to make fun of me for my age. Well, some of them do. And, and you're still in your 20s, right? <laughs> yeah. And so that's like grandpa in, in that. <laughs> so, so I'm sorry. You're in your teens. Uh, is that what we're going to try to try No, okay, not your teens either. You're in your single digits. Like how young of an audience are we trying to go for? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, my audience—I mean, my audience ranges all over sure. the place. Anywhere from—I mean, it can be single digit sometimes, up to people who are older than me. Not usually much older than me. Okay, have you ever had a eighty-year-old like uh, watching your stream? Maybe, but they didn't come in to my chat and says, "Hey, I'm an eighty-year-old watching okay, your stream." What's the oldest that someone has admitted to? Has someone said, "I'm seventy or 60? I think fifty. I think I've had in the fifties. Fifty. Somebody who said they were in their fifties. Uh huh. Um, there's a few people who have been in their forties. 
that's believable. I mean, there's a lot of um, stunted man-childs out there who may think that they want to watch that, you know. I, mean, I understand going into the business and trying to have people watch you. That makes a lot of sense to me. I have this show. Why the fuck are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I should be questioning all this shit to you, motherfuckers, you know. But anyways, it's like, uh, it's just weird that kids want to watch uh, people win these games and well I mean for a lot of it I guess it's cheaper than buying the game there's that it's it's, it's kind of the thing that it's so well animated that it's like it's watching a, a cartoon just a long running cartoon and then a lot of the times you get some very fun color commentary well, yeah I mean you you do and for magic sure. a lot of it's a teaching experience the people will come on and you'll go to watch them play because they happen to be particularly good at a at one format this person's the best player of the Sengir vampire <laughs> so you should turn in if you have a if you have a deck that has Sanger vampires and you haven't watched them play. Like you'll never win. Uh, like like me, I don't play constructed, but I'm a limited player. And mm -hmm. you turn in if you want to learn how to draft or something. Like I'm the guy that you'll turn to because that's my specialty. Sure. I guess it's probably important to have a specialty. You know, like in baseball, you got to have a specialty. You got to be a knuckleball thrower. You got to be something to be like a productive member of that team in society. Yeah, so you have to have something that make you offer, stand out. Yeah, to offer. I guess there is a lot of offering of just like, uh, hey, I'm a hot chick playing a game. Uh, yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, if, if you have boobs and you want to be a partner, it won't take long. Yeah, you'll be just fine. So you know, that's <laughs> just like a cheat. It's like a talent, you know? You're like, a, I raised these titties myself. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, we're going to come back on the other side, and we're going to talk about uh, some pro wrestling news, uh, big news in the WWE universe. And uh, we're going to see what that's all about. And we're going to do our normal, um, you know, slapdashery stuff about holidays and type of jazz. So um, stick around. Uh, find out what else is here on ZHollywood.tv. And um, we'll see you in like two minutes. I'm Money B, and you can kiss my ass. Let me swallow my snot. <laughs> that's, that's sexy. Keep up the good work, Mild Net. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how I'm coming. Check out. No, I love you. Oh, yeah, why? No cyclocyanabindan little blood. <laughs> Always switching up. Always switching up. What was that? My wedding band jumped out. Oh my god, I hope it's on Omen. Call my wife. He keeps moving away. Hi, I'm Rob Schneider, and you're watching T Hollywood V. Z Hollywood T. Z. Bang on bang. Bang on bang. Nailed it. Hi, I'm Moxie. And I'm Nicole. And we're the ladies of Suicide, Suicide Girls, Girls Radio, Radio, the world's leading BYOB radio show. Pour a glass of your favorite tipple and tune in on Wednesday nights between 8 and 9 p.m. as we discuss life, liberty, and the pursuit of free nipples. I'd just flash it would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? People think flashing your tits is easy, right? And it's actually kind of hard. from home and you're on the street you've been ripped off you've been used and you could be killed there is a way out there is a way off the street not tomorrow but now runaway hotline will get you off the street call runaway hotline toll free anytime day or night runaway hotline gets your message to those who care call now and get off the street Six three seven nine. What, what? Six one one nine. Six one one nine. Six one one nine. Mm, now I'm uh, friends with someone who works there, and I understand they got a call this week. Um, that person didn't answer the phone, but you did leave a message that that's what you had listened to and what you had seen. So, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry that we were, that they were not there to answer the phone for you. But uh, any time, any other time, you know. Try not to make it in the middle of the night though, because like uh, that guy sleeps. <laughs> so like if you're like a, a runaway and you need some help at like from somewhere between 
See, my wife goes to work at about 7. So, like, if you need help from, like, 8 a.m. until she's back about 4 till about 3. We're, we're good, yeah. I'll, I come by and help, you know. Uh, or they'll come by and help. Whoever it is that answers that line Someone. will come by and help. All right. Uh, <laughs> this has been a personal message from that creep on the camera. Anyways, oh, uh, <laughs> interesting news today in the world of wrestling. Yeah. Turns out that uh, they are now making uh, SmackDown, which is WWE's second biggest show. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I'd heard for a while that they were really trying to make it like both of them A shows. Yeah, but it, it, everybody knows that's not true because Vince McMahon loves uh, Raw too yeah. much to ever let uh, another A show exist. Well, I mean... They're going to do SmackDown live, and that's something that... That's going to make a big difference. Yeah, They're out, not going to be able to fake it, you know? Yeah, outside of a couple of uh, random things here and there, the Super SmackDowns, it's always been recorded. Sure. So now the fact that it's going to go live permanently on Tuesdays, which... And I understand they're going to take, uh, like, a... They're going to go back to what they did in uh, the early 2000s, and they're going to do a brand split again. No, right. But wasn't when that when that brand sp split originally occurred, weren't they showing um, SmackDown live on the... For, at least initially, and no. then they went to record it? No. No. Yeah, it was, it was always SmackDown's recorded. never really been a live show. Okay. Uh, it's always been... It's predominantly Basically been a, a taped show. Okay, a production uh, show. No, I, I, I which, which, okay, look, that's an important part of it. But the more important part of it is, like, who's coming into power in the company. Like, okay. So the guy who uh, ran NXT is now being promoted to run SmackDown, and they're going to do a brand draft, supposedly, where he's going to pick up a lot of his old NXT wrestlers that he knew how to, you know, write and put over and make right. bigger and better. So, like, there'll be a... More of an international cruiserweighty feel. Okay, so now it, this is this is obviously a planned draft, correct? Oh, oh yeah, sure. It, it, the case, it, it, as fake as wrestling is, like right. the actual like yeah. um, <laughs> idea of who's going to be on each brand, like they, they treat us so serious. Yeah, they'd have to. So yeah. it's just going to be entertaining to see who's going to be going where and what sure. what, I, what, what their plan with the storylines. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like I remember at one point they had a specific. I think it was SmackDown was like. The Divas, and that was it. And now, they now don't the have Divas the, don't exist. They, so thank yeah, God they have yeah. the Women's Championship. Yes. So, I, is that going to be on two shows, or are they going to exclusive so. I think the one the, brand? I think they'll probably do the same thing they did before, which is with like the champion can be on either of the shows. So, like if you're the world champ, you can be on Raw, and you can also be on SmackDown. So there's not going to be two world champions. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I think are they going to go back to being having a know. SmackDown champion yeah, and not. then the the Raw champion? I hope not. Here, here's, here's what I'm hoping for. I'm just hoping that like somebody competent has the network show and that they can have um, serious good wrestling like they have on NXT and it can actually be like uh, excited to watch again because it's just been such terrible horse shit on Raw. I, I just can't watch that anymore. I hope that they keep every terrible, you know, horn swoggly character. And okay, so let you Raw have three hours of just hot garbage. Right. So now um, with this guy taking over SmackDown. Yeah. Um, Whose name I would tell you, but I don't know that shit. <coughs> <coughs> Who stay, is McMahon still in charge of Raw then, or is someone no, else? Another guy. His name is Brian, Brian Gerwitz. Okay, and, uh, he's been in charge for too long. Yeah, he drives me crazy. So this is really deep inside baseball to get into all this WWE stuff. I understand most people don't particularly give a shit about any of that, you know. But it makes my life like exciting, and there's not many, many things that I, I I look forward to. And wrestling is just like. You know, it, it does it for me. Yeah, I mean, there's a million spoilers out there. I always, and one of, a couple of the games that I stream actually are WWE-based, so I have a lot of fans that come into the channel. I didn't even know there were WWE games you could do that with. Like, what, like, what do you do that uh, with? Uh, WWE Supercard and I've WWE a lot of that. Immortals yeah, I've played that too. Are, are a couple that I stream. And there's, like, uh, WWE uh, 2K16 mm -hmm. and... Stuff like I don't play that because I suck. Can at basically it. any game be done that way? I mean, because is there someone right now who's like, oh man, I got, I'm the best at Frogger, yo, and he's like, <laughs> uh, oh, you do, 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 have the do, big do, show do. jumping from log to log. Well, maybe not the big <laughs> show, but like on like Twitch, like is there somebody who's uh, playing Frogger right now? Uh, probably not. Okay, that's good. That's I good. mean, because no one needs that. I mean, any game that's listed in GiantBomb.com can actually be streamed on twitch because that's where they get their thing from but i mean there's a lot of games that people don't play sometimes i'll come live with a game and there's just nobody else live and 
Sometimes they're like, oh my God, it's someone streaming this game. Thank you. And the three people are happy. Hmm. Because wow. only, it's <laughs> it's a, only it's three people cared. It's a, it's a weird little world. Of it. I mean, it's a big world. I understand. Like, there's more people. Someone said there's more people watching that than YouTube, which sounds like impossible, right? That's, that's impossible. Like, there's no way. Like, they could even be competing. Even in, like, the same breath or, like, the same, you know, well, I mean, potential in the world. I, I absolutely see that i mean youtube's a lot of recorded content the thing about twitch is that it's it's live mm -hmm. and i mean you can type i mean how often can you actually interact with the people you see on tv like in live real time and you can type at them and they're going to respond to you to what you said and things sounds like a like a porn chat room a little bit <laughs> you know like is there a lot of difference in it because like, you kind of have to do what they want, like for money, right? Like if someone comes in and says, "Um, hey, here's a ten dollars. I want you to run off this cliff twenty times in a row, um, and yeah, just keep dying." I have let them know that I am for sale. Sure. And <laughs> see my butthole for three dollars. <laughs> I mean, oh. not yours, you know, but like maybe your character's butthole. I mean, we've yeah. we've jo joked about like me doing a uh, stream in a tutu or something like that. If somebody were had, to had the money. If yeah, yeah. somebody actually was like, here, we'll... Yeah, like, where does your dignity, like, um, the price tag run out, you know? I, I, I don't know where it would no, be for there's, mine. Yeah. There's, really, there's really no limit. If you've, got enough, sure. if you've got enough money, I can go as far down low as you want me sure. to. Wow. I mean, let's start a You're campaign. You're just a whore. Let's start a campaign. Let's yes. do something, like, for the next, like, uh, 13 episodes. We'll try to come up with terrible things that we can make Scott do for money. We'll see if he'll uh, do it or not. Actually, we should ask our, our listeners and viewers to. What would they like to do? To yes. Scott? Sure. Yeah, yeah, please. As long as it's. He was to think about this, but yeah. No, no, there's no. As within. long as it's within the, the Twitch TOS. Like, I, I, oh, I, sure. I am not allowed to get naked. Okay, so I guess some girl got in trouble, right? Because, like, she um, was sitting around and somehow, somehow my vagina fell out. Oops. You, do you remember, like, the this, this story of this girl? Her name was, like, um. Uh, I think her name was My Vagina Will Never Fall Out, but then it did. <laughs> that was um, that was really surprising. No, I, I, I missed that one. Oh, well, I mean, I guess she was like sitting there playing like some game and she put her foot up and like her ankle somehow caught like on her uh, the hem of her dress. And then she got these huge numbers because everybody's now tuning in because uh, no one gives a shit if like Mario's going to take down that, <laughs> that monkey. That is completely in, 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 unimportant. Yeah, it's like, well. If if a girl sits there and starts rubbing her breasts, it's it's hot. When I, when I do it, wait a minute, I'm not supposed. I to I don't know. Do it. Hey, can you guys? Uh, yeah, just just let's just see what that looks like. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta get it on camera. Him doing it, not me. We'll see. Normally, yeah, I, you're right. I, I just lift up, isn't hot. I just lift up the shirt and it's, it's. You're right. It's it's creepy as hell. You were correct. That was not hot. That and when I do, uh, I don't know how we recover from that? Was it the Kam Kamala impression? Oh yeah, I, yeah. I'll see. <laughs> I did a Kamala a couple weeks ago on here, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's twice on Grand Theft Audio recently that someone was pulled a Kamala. Yeah, I was opening... It's a weird little universe. I was opening these uh, trading cards that I had from people from all over, and anytime I got a Kamala card, because I was doing them on, I'd stand up and just... And it was Where'd you get packs with Kamalas in them? Like, what year were those from? They're actually not that old. Yeah. Um, There's like, new cards with Kamala on them? Maybe, like, five. I think he just had to have his foot cut off because of diabetes. Do you think it says that on the back of it? Well, maybe. They were probably, like, five <laughs> years old, but they had legends. Okay. Older. Okay, that's good. Because I think his foot was cut off four years ago. So, like, it was right before foot cough. Foot. Was it? I, I didn't. That was very lucky that whatever company wanted to do a card of him did it right before then. Yeah. Because for, like, accuracy... You'd have to go back and, like, airbrush out one of his feet now. <laughs> and that's not a good idea. No one really wants that. No. Yeah, no one really wants that. Speaking <laughs> of no one really wants, uh, today I had an interesting interaction with a uh, with a celebrity. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I, heard, I heard an allusion to this, so I'm yeah. curious to hear what it actually is. So, uh, I hit this guy up probably five years ago on Facebook when I first um, was looking for, like, guests. You know, since, since this time... We've had on Cheech and Chong, and we've had on um, Bobcat Goldwaith, and we've had on every big comedian that you could name. You know, like we've had so 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 many of them. Yes. And this guy finally accepted my friend request probably about three months ago. Out of the blue, it said, um, "Blank blank accepted your friend request." I'm like, "All right." 
So I got to write him like a, a message this time. Hello, Mr. Blank. Like, uh, you are such a, a smart guy, and I've always really respected you. And this guy's a goof, okay? He's a Bill fu- Murray. He's a fucking goof. No. Okay? <laughs> but, like, I, was, I totally treated him with respect and kindness. And I told him that I'd seen you on other shows where people had, like, um, like shit all over you and like it, it was those people were disrespectful and i understand like what type of legacy you have in this industry and i really wanted to um get you on and let you be able to come on and like have a good time you know so he writes me back now he's like um i don't have time for your r gang like bullshit this sounds like it's um <laughs> rinky dink and crap and he's like shitting all over me and my show and the people who've been on he's like what makes you think that you should be able to have name celebrities on your non-sponsored show leave me alone forever so i'm like seriously yeah yeah Damn. so um, I, I didn't i didn't just so, leave him alone forever i wrote him back like oh i'm sorry to have like you know caused consternation in your life because he he's he like yeah you caused all this anxiety with me so like i guess he's been thinking about this for a while because no one else is asking this guy to come on and do shit i think what most people think he fucking doesn't exist anymore <laughs> okay So I was just trying to be, like, a nice, cool dude and offer a soft landing space where someone can come on and give their um, their view of the world and what's happened to them in the last couple of decades since, like, you were relevant and important. And you were relevant and important. Uh, But he totally basically, uh, you know, maybe be treated like a little, like, butthole, you know? So um, F that guy. (laughs) Are, are we not going to find out who it is? Oh, you want to know who it is? Yes. <laughs> okay. I, I want to know who we're supposed to F. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to tell you at the other side of this commercial break. So um, stick around, and um, we're going to do our holiday stuff and that type of jazz. So um, think about who it could be, you know? He's one of the biggest comedians of all time. He probably had as many HBO specials. There was probably only one person who said more HBO specials than him. That was huge. Okay, we'll be back. Bye. Let's go back, 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 back. Hi, I'm Rob Schneider. Hey guys, what's up? This is Matt McAndrew. Hey everyone, I'm Tyler Oakley. And I'm Corey Cool. Hi, I'm Martha Madison. This is Slink Johnson, AKA Black Jesus, BKA Godzilla Lungs. Hello, I'm Eric Roberts. Yeah, what's up? This is Craig Wayans. Hi, this is Brad Williams. And as you can tell, I have never gotten high. Dang! <laughs> Speedy Don. And I am the fabulous Stephen King. What's good? It's your boy Marcus Park, man. We keeping it lit. I'm Money B. Hey, I'm John Sally. What's up, y'all? This is Crazy Bone in the building. It's your girl Shantae Wayans. It's your favorite DJ, DJ Spark. And it's your boy Street Symphony. And you're watching Z. Z. Z Hollywood TV. Hi, I'm Hanny from Lady Pants, and you're watching the top 10 women who are killing it in comedy. Let's do number four. Tegan and Sarah. Speaking of musicians, adora talented Canadian twinsies Tegan and Sarah are quietly killing it all over the place. On Snapchat, in the recording studio, and on the awards circuit. They've got a Grammy nom under their belt as well as major commercial success. And while they're not technically comedians, this indie dance duo is friggin' hilarious on social media. And they are worth a follow just for their weird homemade cat videos. The list doesn't stop here. Watch the next video. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hi, I'm Rob Schneider. Hi, I'm Martha Madison. Hello, I'm Eric Roberts. Hi, this is Brad Williams. And you're watching Z. Z Hollywood TV. Honestly, man, I could be wrong. Maybe he has more appearances now than I think he does, and I'm about to, like, uh, you know, get in a lot of trouble right now. Maybe. Sure. Do either of you have a guess? I have no clue. So you've been doing research on your phone I was trying to. I was trying to. You have no guess? Well, not with the people that I saw on the list that I was being shown, Mm -hmm. because I was looking up. You you, uh, During the break, you said that we had, that this person may have had the most 
comedy special, HBO comedy specials yeah, so, shown. Maybe. No, so they I, don't have the most. I think it may be second place. Uh, I was trying to find out who had the Did most. you have a list? It says, um, it says it's the 20 greatest standards. And I thought, nah. okay, no, no, I was thinking perhaps. It's a different standard. The, I'm just saying that there no, might. No, it says he's the, in the 20 greatest. I understand. But Someone's uh, lined a terrible uh, okay. contract. As I'm trying to say is that uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to look at the he's names. If, there's, if, if yeah. there's something there. I was trying to see it, and, and it, yeah. it froze up on one of the pages, so I can't get oh, to the next no. one. Because like, I see Maria Bamford on here. That's oh, Maria, it. was it you? It's no, not, you're no, a lovely no. lady who's done everything we've ever asked of you. So uh, you've been a great guest, a great live performer. <laughs> we've loved you. Absolutely. But it's it's not her. Right. Uh, Mike Birbiglia was one that came up. It's like, no, that's that's not a, it either. He's had several shows, sure. but not nearly sure. the most. Um, and then some of the other ones, uh, Janine Garofalo. No, mm-hmm. not even close. Yeah. So how, how do you so, know? But what if it was Janine Garofalo, what if you're ruling her out? What are you basing it on that it can't be her? I don't recall that many Janine Gar- Garofalo specials. I mean, was oh, it? Yeah. Well, did you have HBO? Not for a really. long period. You had, you had a, a I have, VCR I, of the <clears throat> Dirt Bike Kid. I remember because I went to your house. It wasn't the Dirt Bike Kid. It was Brad. Brad. Were, they more known, were they more known for being on TV or as being a comedian? I don't even I think that some people, okay, look, he's a comedian. But some people may not even think about him being a, com- a comedian because he had another gimmick that so overruled it. I may actually have a guess. So, okay. It, 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 this is kind of where I went. Now, I could be completely sure. wrong, but I'm going to say Bob Saget. Okay. Uh, it is not Bob Saget. Okay. It is not. <laughs> okay. It is not Bob Saget. Because Danny Tanner and uh, Bob Saget are two very, very different people. Sure, they are very, very uh, decidedly different personas. Okay, so um, I said I would say it, even though it, it could get me in a lot of trouble. Um, I don't care. You honestly, Gallagher. Gallagher? Gallagher. Nice. <laughs> yeah. He seems like he could be a real asshole. Yeah, man, but that guy's a goddamn genius, you know? Like, oh, yeah. His comedy was incredible. I, I, I was never a fan of, like, the fruit smashing stuff. I yeah. laughed when I was a kid. Right. But the, his actual comedy is incredible. The, yeah. stu- the stuff that he did before he got... To yes. the sledgematic. Yes. That is what made that. It, yes. it was just the, the wackiness of it as well. Yeah. yeah. And, and I don't and know how many HBO specials he had, but that dude absolutely had right. a lot. Yeah. 15. Yeah. I mean, it was a shit ton of them. Like, they were all the time. So he just, he accepted your friend request to basically But, but that, but that was F just off? when I was a fan, you know. That wasn't when I was asking to, like, just come on and say, hey, man, what an awesome career you've had. Good job, guy. <laughs> you know? I imagine he probably performs more than you. you uh, okay, I'm sure that he does. I'm sure that he does. He, I, I guessed off the air that he probably performs, I don't know, uh, two times a year. <laughs> yeah. And someone said it probably had to be more than that. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure it is. I think he probably does, you know. Three I'm four. sure he gets booked regularly. Yeah. That's that's the guy. Now, which, which Gallagher is this? Real Gallagher. Real Gallagher. Gallagher. Okay. Yeah, real Gallagher. Not his brother. But then I'll tell you this much. You know, it, uh, it all turned out just fine. So, <laughs> don't think any more about it. You, you, you are not thinking about Gallagher. You are not thinking <laughs> about Who? Gallagher. Peter Gallagher, the guy with he, the with the huge um, eyebrows. Sure. Let's go with him. So I'll start, stop forgetting about. Um, Wait, Peter who? Uh, yeah, I don't even remember how to say it. Galileo. Peter. Peter Sellers. Peter what? Frampton. Galileo. <laughs> Galileo. Galileo. <laughs> Can anybody forget his name now? We all forgot his name. So, like, we don't even remember you exist anymore, bitch. You should have come on here. But um, now you floated out of everyone's brains. Yeah, we, we leave the single names to Beyonce now. You don't get. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he was one of the, yeah. those original ones. If I think Thinking back, it, there was never a first name. It was just Gallagher. Yeah, Gallagher. Yeah, that's right. They, like, it was just Gallagher. So. Right. I feel bad. Oh, God damn it. Why did you say his name again? <laughs> okay, look, I'm, I'm done talking about him. I don't want to give him any more um, coverage at all. F you, Gallagher. <laughs> like, uh, well, not, not you, but the uh, the guy who wrote me today pretending to be you, because I'm sure you wouldn't have been like that mean on your own. Someone right? hijacked his phone. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure that's what it is. We're going to hear later that, oh, I was taking a dump and um, I forgot my phone someplace else and someone logged on and wrote those nasty things to you. Because you know, that's what they do. Of it's course. always taking a dump with you <laughs> fruit smashing comedians. I know the M.O. You can't bullshit me anymore, Gallagher. (laughs) All right. We're going to do our holidays. We're going to start off with a very pertinent one right now. It is Mental Health Awareness Month, Gallagher. (laughs) 
<laughs> okay, look. I don't know if it actually is or not, but I just heard recently I it think, is Mental Health Awareness Month. I think it is. It was. It's either this month or it was April. Okay, look, I, I, got, I, got, I have a list, man, and it's alphabetical. I, All right, I, so check the monthly M's. Monthly M's. National Mental Health Month. You are off the hook. Like, uh, no longer is my re- reliance upon knowing of, of its existence solely, like, uh, rested on you. Is it? Is it? Oh, it's it not. Is. No, it no, is. no, I saw the list, man. Right it here. is May? Yeah, yeah, it yep. is. National Mental Health Month. Yeah, and so, uh, honestly, I mean, if we go serious for a minute, yeah. uh, get informed about stuff like that because there's a lot of things out there people just think people are crazy, and it's, no, nah, these this is real medical conditions that people have, and it affects their lives, and... It can be every bit as debilitating as a broken leg or anything. You just don't see it. So yeah. it's, it's actually a topic that's kind of near and dear to me. So Well, you know, some things do deserve to be treated with respect. I'd say that's uh, one of them. Absolutely. This next one, though, National Lupus Month. I mean, who gives a shit about lupus? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Do you? Uh, I think he was like one of the kids in the Bad News Bears. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think you're right. Wasn't he the catcher? I think he was the catcher, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, and I think he... He was, like, scared of catching the ball in public somehow, and um, then he caught the ball in public, and <laughs> it was incredible, like, to overcome that type of diversity. Like, and I think it was the bottom of the ninth in a championship game. I mean, it, it's, it's miraculous that he got a chance to, like, overcome his odds right then. If you have a chance, you should um, go back and watch it. Or maybe I will watch it later, and you can watch me watching it and laughing at it, and you can give me money. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the kid, man. <laughs> you know. So anytime I see that disease, I'm always like, um, you know, it makes you adorable. Indeed. Aw, it's lupus. So you know, we got that. What else we got going on this month? We've got um, National Osteoporosis Prevention Month. What are you guys doing to fight it now? I drink. I drink plenty of milk. Okay, that's that. That is the main thing you can do. Mm-hmm. So um. How, how do you feel that your <clears throat> milk consumption levels are in an average week? Being a little bit on the lactose intolerant side, mm. maybe not as much as. Do you get a glass a week at least? Because you have you have brittle bone disease when you grow up. No, no, I'm pretty much just going to break. I'm are, are you taking wow. calcium wow. supplements then? Something? I I do have. Oh, this is oh good. I I, good, I, good. I take I I eat like oh, like no. a seven year old kid that. Yeah. Uh, or at least they, the way they want to eat. Mm-hmm. But so you I, get a lot of chicken nuggies? You, how many times do you eat chicken nuggets in a week? <laughs> do you eat it, a lot of chicken it's nuggets? It's not chicken nuggets. It's, yeah. it's when I wake up and go oh. grab the pineapple upside down cake, and that that's breakfast. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I mean, we're talking. I don't know how many seven-year-olds want to eat like that, though. I don't know. I, I just take a ton of pills every day, and I'm like, yeah, that's if I'm going to eat terribly, pills. I'll just the magical down a bunch of pills. Sure, sure. Sure. That doesn't sound good. What about you? Are you a big milk ingester? I love milk, man. Yep. I'll, I'll drink milk all the time, you know. Um, it doesn't even have to be – I don't have to be thirsty or hungry. I'll just be like, oh, man, my bones need to be strong. I'm going to get some milk. So that's what I do. It, it's basically the only, like, real health thing I do is I make sure I drink plenty of milk. Good. Take your vitamins. Drink your milk. Say your prayers. If there's vitamins that have been chopped up and put into that milk, I have a good chance to have – taking those vitamins but otherwise if they've like been set off to the side away from the milk i may not have eaten so you those got plenty vitamins. of vitamin a and vitamin d as well good good are those things in milk yes they are i'm gonna look it up later man if i you find out right that, that it doesn't have those mm. what else we got national salad month mm. what's the best salad the steak salad steak salad Yes. Okay, uh, what's in a steak salad? Steak. How, okay, but how does it work? I, I don't. I've never had steak salad, and I've had like steak in almost every way. I thought you could eat it. You've never had a grilled piece of steak on a salad. I don't think so. Okay. That may be chopped up, right? Or is it literally? Well, no, just, it, no. It's, it's, it's jam it's, a T-bone usually, on top. No, 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 no. Not, not. It's usually a thin cut of meat, like the skirt steak. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, that's marinated, and you grill it up. You can nice, medium rare. Then you just kind of slice it into strips, yeah. and you place it on a on a green salad, usually with like a blue Am cheese I dressing to eat, like, or a balsamic. Some of the lettuce with the meat. At the when same you time? get the blue cheese dressing and the, the tomatoes and uh, everything, it's it's quite tasty. But usually, you kind of go to the meat first, and then the salad's what finishes it off for you. Scott, best salad. Um, the one somebody else is eating. So once again, I reference the seven-year-old boy <laughs> where they eat. I actually. Believe it or not, I, I do not like leafy greens of 
any okay. of any. Okay. Okay. Well, let's eliminate leafy greens. Now, okay. like, how about fruit salad? Well, if <laughs> tuna salad, chicken like, salad. Yeah, you know, there's all sorts of different types of salad. Like, don't, do you eat anything that says salad like on ma- it? Don't like mayo. Um, no. Oh, well, man. if I go to like soup plantation, I'll actually do like a thing with like a lot of green pepper, and I'll use that as my base instead of lettuce, and put a bunch of stuff on top of that. So, I mean, I try to eat the ones. So you like. Lunatic green pepper salad. Oh yeah, I've never yeah. Heard that. It's yeah. It's just. Hey, man, it, it sounds like it's, it's probably delicious. It's to you. odd. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it sounds like it's delicious. Favorite food. dressing on it? Uh, depends. Probably usually ranch yeah. of some form, but there's. I mean, I've done like honey mustard. I'll, whatever but I look. Your your usual go to. If you if you got a salad coming and they say, what kind of dressing would you like? What's usually the first thing out your mouth? Probably Is ranch. It ranch thing? Yeah. What about you? Favorite salad? Mm, you know, I just like a regular, like a Caesar salad. Mm, with Caesar. Some chicken on it. Chicken Caesar? Yeah, that sounds good. Do you like the traditional without the chicken with like with actual anchovies on it? Yuck. Really? Yuck to anchovies. Mm, okay. Yeah, Unless it's because. But I'm about to put you in timeout for reminding me of anchovies uh, and their existence in the food world. You know that they're in the. You dressing. know, we're going to go to timeout now. Um, I'm actually going to put the entire show on timeout now because he's done it. We have two minutes where we're not going to talk about anything at all. So come back on the other side. I'm Handy from Lady Pants, and you're watching the top 10 women who are killing it in comedy. Here's number eight. Amy Schumer. She's the first Amy that comes up when you Google Amy. Whether that's because we have stalked her so many times, Google has learned she's what we want or not, we don't care. She executive produces and stars in her own sketch show, probably writes about 50% of the sketches herself, and writes and performs a shit ton of stand-up comedy at any given moment. She's self-deprecating, but also confident. She's a baller, but not inflated yet. So who cares that she uses her sexuality as a primary source of her comedy? She's killing it, and we love it. It's time for number nine. There. Oh, oh, uh, hmm? oh, we, oh, I ain't no oh, yeah. I'm Money B, and you can kiss my ass. <laughs> Let me swallow my snot. <laughs> That's, that's sexy. Keep up the good work, Mile Net. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how I'm gonna come and check out. No, I love you. Oh yeah, why no cyclocyana bin the little. Do you take one? There you go. Always switching up. Always switching up. What was that? My wedding band jumped out. My oh my god, I hope it's an omen. Call my wife. He keeps moving away. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob Schneider, and you're watching T Hollywood V. T Hollywood T. T. <laughs> bang bang. Bang bang. bang. <laughs> Mail that. All right, okay, guys, promise, no Gallagher talk this time, okay? I don't want to have to get into, like, another segment on what happened there, so don't do it. Uh, all right, we're back here on Grand Theft Audio on T Radio Z Hollywood. Dot TV. TV. Oops, Z Hollywood dot TV. <coughs> uh, we always appreciate you guys tuning in. This is Jake Belcher. And I'm Brant Thoman. And uh, with us still? I'm Scott Gerhart. And, uh, Scott, where can people learn more about you in case we get all, like, funked up at the end? Um... Uh, you can fi- follow me on Twitter at the Gamers Dome. You can go to thegamersdome.com, or if you really want, just want to interact with me live, twitch.tv slash thegamersdome. We do we do it every single day. All right, do all that stuff and uh, learn how to like uh, draft in uh, Magic because it's a great great game. Love it. Brent I and I spent many 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 hours. Playing many hours. Twitch. Twenty-one years, and I'm not giving it up anytime soon. Yeah, it is a uh, pretty dope. I found my um, okay, so I just found my book of all my good cards. Like when I was Lucky doing, you. When I was doing all my unpacking for moving okay uh what we got today today is uh may 25th 
Uh, today's holidays uh, are as follows. Today is Cookie Monster's birthday. Sweet. Nom, 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 nom. I am amazed that I saw nothing on Facebook about that. Yeah, that's weird, right? There's, uh, I mean, like, uh, this, this is the 39th anniversary of, of uh, Star Wars releasing. Mm-hmm. So I saw the post about, you know, 30, 39 years ago, this many fighters and... and and uh, so stormtroopers were killed. Th- okay, I guess that's right. It has nothing to do with the release. That's no, just no, no, no. A, a clever sounding. Yeah, right. That, May was the month it was released in, but sure. it wasn't May the fourth. Fourth, you know. Right, right. It. Yeah, that was the first movie apparently I I ever saw. I was told as my parents just. But not the first one you remember, obviously. Drug me in as a infant into the movie theater. Whoa. Well, uh, I bet the, the other people were excited to have a baby in the theater with them. Woo-hoo. Who mm-hmm. doesn't love that? <clears throat> I, I, I'm loud now, and I'm sure I was loud then. Yeah, I have, I have little doubt that that's true. Uh, today is also National Tap Dancing Day. Tap dancing is awesome. Uh, I, uh, I I realized when I first thought that I would never be good at that, so I'm never going to even try. But it doesn't. It does not hurt your appreciation for it. it no, no, I the love same it. way. I, love I, I, I absolutely love watching trained tap dancers just go off on the on the dance floor. Yeah, uh, for a while I really liked um, Savion Glover. I think that was like the name of that uh, tap dancer who was really good. Mm-hmm. And then there was like another one from our youth who did all these movies that were really good. And every time I saw him, I'm like, oh, that guy's awesome. Gregory Hines. Yeah, maybe it was Gregory Hines. I think it was. Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't Gregory Peck. No. Like, uh, <laughs> he was. No, I don't think he was very that light. That light on his feet. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's true. Uh, did, have you ever tried to tap dance? Have you ever had the shoes that did the? No, I never had the shoes. I, I do. Did remember you ever try to put like a bottle caps in your heels or something? No, like, t- you took. I would take um, uh, thumbtacks and put those on the on the bottom of my soles. Yeah, and uh, as, you, as you walked, any any good at it? No, I wouldn't. I wasn't actually. I, I just like the sound of it. I knew I couldn't actually sure. do that kind of dancing. And plus, you, it's got to be in a specific position. But Scott, click, have you ever click, tried? Click. I've tried tap dancing on stupid stuff I've said oh, in the sure, past. But sure. um, as far as no. Click, no, click I'm, on a, the heels I'm a little on the awkward side when it comes to stuff like that. Sure, I'm a little honkified. Yeah, no, so I'm, I'm not afraid to say did that. Did you my, ever get to wear the shoes? I got honkification uh, in my dancing skills. Uh, not a <laughs> single one of those musicals <laughs> you did. Uh, I never had to do tap dancing. All you right. know, I, I could do like a little bit of soft shoe or a little bit of right. like a marching around to a beat, but uh, never had to do any of that. Let's see what else we got going on today. Today is a National Wine Day. Hmm. I knew that. Yeah. I was I was told that before I came in by. Uh, by the uh, girlfriend or whatever. We're Did she her say today. it's National Wine Day? So bring home some so we can. Uh, oh, boop, boop, boop. She, she told me she was celebrating. All right. Absolutely celebrating. Do you know what her favorite type of wine is? Uh, whatever's in the fridge. Okay. Um, no. I mean, is she a pink wine, a white wine, or a red wine? Uh, it depends. She, I mean, she'll do whites and she'll do reds. I, I, Mostly whites lately, but like not, a good, but peanut. not not the box pink. No, no, okay. like a Pinot That's Grigio. That's good. That's good. She 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 appreciates good wine. Yeah, like a Pinot Grigio or a Chardonnay. Like that. Yeah, That's nice. Yeah, um, I, I hope Melissa. That that's have right. you always known the lady you're with's favorite uh, type of wine? Yeah, yeah, Usually. you have to, right? Yeah, because uh, sex barely happens without wine. Is that yeah? See, is that is that or her, her favorite you know cocktail? If that's what she's in the mood for, but absolutely, a guy sure. should know what a, what a girl likes for wine, and know and should know some white wines that he can suggest. At the always, always a good idea. At the very least, I know what the bottle looks like in the store. So That's very important. Yes. You yes, know, it's yes. super important. Uh, we've got a couple other quick ones we're going to wrap up here with. Uh, today is also uh, Nerd Pride Day. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. you know. Like, uh, wh- okay, what's the thing you're nerdiest about? Uh, I mean, for me, it's uh, it's gaming. I've always been a gaming nerd. It's I mean, and there's certain things that uh, – there's nerds of all different types. Sure. And people are like, well, you're not a nerd if you don't like – like, for me, I don't watch Game of Thrones. Oh, you're not a nerd. No, yeah, you're not a nerd. It, 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 people are like you disqualified. You've lost your nerd card. Disqualified. And I'm like, no, there's nerds of all different kinds. Brent, what are you nerdiest about? Definitely cartoon nerd. Yeah, yeah, you are cartoon nerd. There's no doubt totally. in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yourself, pro wrestling. Mm-hmm. That's it. You know, that's my yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, we're gonna be wrap this up. We've got um, World Multiple Sclerosis Day. You know, it's awareness. So, do you guys know it exists? Yep. It, yeah, we. And yeah, we've done it. It's no, there. We've done it. Uh, last one we have going on for today is um, National Senior Health and Fitness Day. So if you see any old people out there like uh, running around, it's not the normal reason, like trying to get away from like somebody who's abusing them or, um, you know, like just treating them awful. It's probably because they're trying to exercise. No, just slam grandma, the, on, the, slam grandma on a, on a uh, stair climber. That hundred-year-old woman who just who just broke the world record for the fastest hundred meters, however long, however fast she was able to run it. Is it's that a real that thing? Fast. Yes, it is. Yes, this hundred-year-old woman just broke it. I, we think within the last week. It's like, couldn't you have h- held off until today? This would have been a perfect day to do it. 
But well, 100 she blew years it. old. She blew it. Yeah. 100, 100 years old, and she can run the 100 meters. And it's not, again, it's, it's not like watching Hussein Bolt. It's, it takes them probably, I think, in the 22nd range for her to get there. Whoa. Maybe shortly under that. Even the fact. No, even, probably even more than that, to think about it. I mean, that's, that's probably, actually probably insane. 30 I'm going to take you on, oldest lady, without knowing how. You're going to win. You are a four, I'll go, I'll go like three different styles. I'll go rolling. I will roll 100 meters versus your run. Or I'll go on my knees. I mean, I'm probably 14, 15 seconds, roughly. I'd like to think I'm that. For 100 fast. meters? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm totally off the time. Bolt is just, uh, is just under nine. Nah, man, I think you can probably do like. Uh, yeah, maybe she's like 30 to 40 seconds. I don't know. That, I just that, know I just saw slow. the thing. That's pretty I, slow. That's pretty slow. Yeah. I mean, I'll it, take you down, old lady. Your uh, physical accomplishments ain't shit to me. Yeah, I mean, the fact that. And a hundred year old woman can run, period. That's I doubt it's running. It's probably more power for hundred, forward. For a hundred year old it's running. Power, they probably put a, a power pillow walking. in the corner and no, it really push looks her like towards she gets it. her knees up just enough to really kinda no, it's not a shuffle. No. It's disqualified. F- disqualified. Yeah. Power walking like all those mornings in the mall. Disqualified. Paying off. I don't like thinking about old people like uh, being good at things. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw it out of the court room yeah. right now. If a hundred year old woman could outrace me in hundred meters, they can't. Like that would they can't. I I mean I've got the game Scott, of physique, but you, look, it's Nerd Pride Day, okay? Like you, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Use that enthusiasm to push yourself down the hundred meter path because <laughs> an old hundred year old woman is not gonna beat you. Like you gotta have more confidence in yourself that you can take her on. You can beat her. Remember. If you had a now I think so. If you have a hundred year old woman who's challenging you to a hundred meter dash, and you think she's just doing it to like rub your face in it because she's better than you, give up. Just uh, let her win. And that's that's what I say. Like, um, you know, you're uh, not really worth uh, anything anymore. You lazy piece of poop. Hey, we're out of time, guys. <laughs> um, hey, we're we're, we're going to talk about um, reasons to uh, not vote for Donald Trump, but we did run out of time. I apologize. I needed a lot of preparation for that. <laughs> Um, you know, but otherwise, uh, next week here in California, you got to get your vote on. Uh, if you are on the Republican side, you may as well vote for Trump because there's no one else to vote for. Yeah. So I will definitely vote for Trump next week. You know, because that will be the only choice I really have. But if any of you Democrats out there vote for anybody other than Bernie Sanders, you are a piece of fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I... Here, here. Good night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jake Belcher. I'm Brant Thoman. Scott Gerhardt. And we're looking out for ourselves. I hope you're looking out for yourself because uh, no one is going to do it for you. It feels like there should be more to that, but that's like the important part, you know? Yeah. <laughs>